Hello my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today my dear friends uh, we will talk about this pump. This pump is from a boiler system. This is called boiler fuel oil supply pump. And we will describe little of this kind of pump. Uh, it's screw. It's different one. It's not uh, like a uh, centrifugal that we have uh, told before. Uh, the reason uh, for what I'm making this video, I like to show you, also to share how uh, other engineers working and what practice, practices they have. So you will never repeat again that one. For the reason uh, I tell already and let's go to describe quickly one by one all the things that we have seen what improvements we make and uh, how uh, we repair this pump and uh, details and tips about that one first of all i'd like to tell you that this pump was replaced with a new magnetic pump with coupling with magnetic coupling which is uh, maintenance free for mechanical seal these pumps uh, the old type pumps, uh, the main problem that they have is the mechanical seal. After some uh, while, some while working hours, there is a, a observation of leaking, leaking, but not so big, but it's uh, enough to make dirty around and it's more difficult for uh, at the time of the inspection to monitor this system and to be always there. It's minor leakage, really minor, but this leakage is only observed in these kind of pumps. So let's move on and uh, explain and tell all the story of this uh, equipment. First of all, uh, the pump was replaced as I told with a new mechanical uh, magnetic type pump and uh, this one was left with the fuel inside and all the fuels after a couple of weeks couple of months stuck inside and make a more difficult overhauling and repair of this pump first of all also these plastic covers due to the time they start to dissolve and some of the parts of the plastic uh, goes inside uh, that uh, that i have found so I remove also these plastics here around from this side. This is like covers, but uh, the heat of the engine room destroy them. So I remove and I place a kind of uh, a kind of protection uh, outside like tape. So it would not be necessary to dismantle in case that something uh, fell down uh, inside in the screw of uh, the pump in the mechanism of the pump let's move on to the next uh, picture this is how it looks like motor and the coupling it's very important that here it's a uh, very good coupling okay we do not have any wear here the openings uh, will remain intact so the coupling here the rubber will go exactly as much as possible first of all the fuel it's not a big deal for the motor or the oil if enter inside uh, the motor here the most dangerous is water water is good uh, transfer of electricity otherwise uh, oil and the fuel there but uh, it's good isolator okay as you can see there's a lot of fuel around everything dismantled some of the crew take cleaning part of that one and here as you see the allen bolts was completely immersed in the fuel so we have a very very strong 
a carbon and first of all we need to clean all the heads for the allen all the allen remember my dear friends and for beginners must be properly inserted inside and for your help you can use extension a pipe extension that will uh, help you to release them quickly so uh, here is our located our bolts around and also here we have also some of them here okay let's move on to the next picture okay and here we have our cover this cover we have already dismantled in the next picture this cover goes up and this casing remains and we have something like this inside this one uh, this one and this called idle idle screws and this is the main shaft which have also a screw which give uh, the rotating power to these idle uh, screws so uh, when you remove them from the pump just be sure that you place them in the same place uh, if you accidentally uh, mix them it's not big deal but uh, it's better to place them as you remove them this is the most important so also when you remove them you can observe if you have any wear uh, in all the parts here around and also if you see there is a details here that separates your uh, screw it's really really different when you remove them you just check and observe how you remove them so it will be easy for you to place them and uh, repeat the assembling later more easier first of all also if you forget uh, how you can understand that this is the proper uh, action that you take and you position like that this here this shaft always goes outside outside of the pump just how it in my in mind the most designers that I have seen make it like that because this is like a bearing here this metal is like bearing and supports all the weight of uh, this uh, screw so just have it in mind next we will move on we will clean all our surface we will find all the gasket the necessary gaskets and this here this uh, thing here that you can see on this side it's uh, the pressure relief valve also which is protect the pump and what it does when it opens it send again the discharge pressure to suction it internally break the pressure and that's why we have a, a safe a protection of our system of our uh, pump this is to protect the pump not the line uh, other safety valves and safety protection is located on the system and on the line which protects the line here also we have our indication the label the plate label the model and it's easy to identify inside the manual which model we have and what spares we can order also we clean all the surfaces here to be ready for assembling and that was the top of the pump okay because there is also the bottom there is a gasket here the gears that we found what was fine we will change also the bearing and also the mechanical seal uh, the point was that 
After removing all the parts, the most difficult part was to see the mechanical set because it was so, uh, so bad uh, around with this carbon that I cannot really, really estimate where is mechanical seal starts and where it ends. So we have our gasket, the hole it's properly made. Make some pictures here, the shaft was fine. All the parts separated and this is the casing where our gears working. Everything is made here inside. And this is the top of the pump. As you can see, there is some uh, place for the gears where it's inserted and be stable inside. So from here coming the top cover and this is the bottom which the pump stands. This also will be removed also the safety valve will be removed just to show you uh, in case that you do not like remove this one it's okay but in case that you need to replace and renew the o-ring uh, the gasket here which is located beneath it's a good idea to do that but you must have something in mind okay this is the safety valve so some rings here already destroyed through the time and we replace them also and we checked also we clean the safety valve with new rings replaced and also a new packing here always spray with molybdenum diesel feed to keep the surface smooth and clean and this is the bottom part of the pump okay that is it here is the place where our idle gears inserted. I will show you this one and this one. And after fine cleaning, as you can see, it's more better because there is no fuel remain. We can connect our uh, parts. But the most important is, I will show you here, when you connect this part, it's necessary to not tie them completely. Just put the idle here and here and then tie it, your bottom. Because if you tie it first the bottom, it not be properly aligned and you will have a difficulty here on the idle. This is the most important if you make the bottom overhauling. So tight little bit the bottom, put inside the idle, check that the idle's passing freely, and then slowly, slowly tight the bottom equally, one side and another side. So this will be fine aligned. In case that you will not do that, your pump will working under load, and we don't like it like that. We put little silicone here, we make it little bit uh, fat the silicone here we add more material so it will be easy to pull it by small screwdriver and next you will have a uh, free your allen and it's not necessary to clean any fuel that's it. that is much much better idea bearing replaced or in a uh, mechanical seal inside replaced and also the gasket so we have a video here which we will check how our uh, pump is turning this is our mechanical seal on the top and i try to turn you see it's little bit difficult and after the adjustments the after adjustments that i make in the bottom this is the mechanical seal that's way how it works how it must be working free and after the adjustments you will see later uh, how our pump will be turning here is the carbon material i have also always a sketch with me 
a drawing to determine exactly and this face the cover goes here as you can see on the top this is the cover and press it uh, down this is how it looks like and this is the piece that goes inside with the other carbon material and seals you will see it coming this sorry coming this place i have it step by step this one going next okay we have it here going one gasket more and then the cover and then the coupling with the allen all the couplings have an allen so we tie the allen normally and uh, we will see we will see a video after that okay it's uh, straight here the surfaces it's straight smooth between them here you can identify the number of coupling if you need to order or to search in the spare room and also going the rubber and now we have our testing last testing uh, after complete assemble you can see how easy and how free is uh, the turning after that our uh, tape for painting around and also uh, you listen in the video some heatings our fitter prepare uh, this uh, interesting uh, stand which we before have discussed with him where we will put and how we will put and how we will arrange in the engine room after assembling and here on the top of engine control room we decide to arrange our uh, fuel pump the reason what we, for what we arrange in this uh, position was to avoid any excess vibration from the moving if you have if you have positioning a, a pump vertically on the stand okay when you put something in this place it's more stable and more sufficient for holding that uh, pump and it's more easy also to place it here between so you can work with other materials and other uh, components like this here and this here it's not something huge with standing here and disturb uh, the operation also everything was bolted we try to avoid the welding in outside the engine control rooms uh, in the engine rooms we avoid welding with surfaces because there is a risk of fire because all these paints is highly flammable uh, material and we avoid to make all our connections is with uh, supports we can make a hole here and tight it securely without any problem so one big work have been made by all the crew everybody help in that work and also one thing that i have seen guys is that it's very good to have some lifting equipment always ready in case that you will need to put this pump back on work so the ship is very happy because have a pump which is a spare and in any case the crew can use it and it's fine it's not something which is left outside in the engine room and it's through like a garbage this is what a pump really deserves thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos check my previous videos check the playlist and you will find a lot of interesting material thank you again and bye bye